Hello everybody, Sil here. We are back loading up Darkest Dungeon. And we are going to hopefully do... Oh, well, we got an achievement. What was that? It takes more than brawn. What is this? Learn a new camping skill. I don't know why we randomly just got that while we loaded the game up. I believe we've already sent people to the Mardi Gras. Yeah. So, let's embark on a mission and let's see what we can do. Uh, we could do the Necromancer or we could do the Swine King. Uh, at least in terms of bosses. I think we might actually be able to get the Necromancer done. No. We don't have enough AoE. So what I think we should do is try and focus on doing the Swine King. Let's try this setup. Uh, if shit hits the fan, we're going to be bailing pretty quick on this one. Uh, we don't want to lose these guys and we don't want them getting too fucked up. But, uh, we're definitely going to try our best. Uh, I, I think we might be able to do it. I am thirsty, though. Oh, that water is cold. And my nose is all kind of stuffed up right now. I, I love how it goes from, like, the evil... That looks weird. It's like the evolution of being... They changed the way the map looks. It's like the evolution of being sick, right? Like, you start with a super runny nose. And now I have, a, like, a super stuff up nose. So anytime I say something or breathe or lean forward, it's just like, Oh, yeah, we are we are just full up in here and we just hate you. Uh, it looks like they've changed the way the map looks. Like, I'm, I'm not just crazy, right? I mean, I, I'm most definitely crazy, but uh, I'm not wrong, right? In radiance, I don't think I'm victory. wrong. Like, why is the map like that? It's so weird. And I just walked by that torch because I'm an idiot. Oh, that torch looked different, too. You can very clearly see that there was a torch in it. Oh, a carrion eater in one of the hulking swan attires. That's not good. That was a good hit, though. We should definitely... Get this guy weakened as soon as possible. There we go. I doubt we're going to be able to kill this guy. Uh, 70, 95, but we might stun him. The stun could be very useful. Shit. Alright, that was very little damage, but the debuff is... Ah, that debuff isn't an issue. And that miss, that is huge. Him missing that debuff is actually a huge deal. Let's uh, weaken this guy now, spread that weakness across. I'm sorry I'm not using my usual word vomit, just ranting about whatever. We're, uh, we're just trying to make sure that we do good this time, because I really dislike that we, uh, had to bail out so, like we did in the previous video. I like that I brought Oprah, but, like, her gear is not upgraded at all, and it really is pissing me off. Uh, this should kill the carrion eater. Good, 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 good. Look at that corpse. Uh, we should do Retribution, so we can set up counters. <coughs> oh, there's the crit. Ah, uh, that is, that is not a, oh my god. That is not a good time. Then she crit healed the guy who had no damage on him, eh? This is really not good, by the way. Like, us getting, like, 
knocked in a position like that is just the worst. Let's just continue falling back. Let's do a little bit of healing here. Please don't bleed. Good job. Smack that stupid Swanita. And you'll just fall further back. Alright, we're, uh, we're almost back into a good position. Almost. We're actually in a position where we're going to be able to get some blade on this guy. Or not. What the shit? That was a good heal. I would take the bleed on that. I wouldn't even care. I wouldn't be mad, yo. Alright, that hit her hard, but she's going to be able to self-heal next round. And we're actually glad he pushed her back into the right position. So let's just throw a dagger. Oh, that was such a good crit. So yeah, we're, we're definitely hoping to not take too much stress. Uh, I will I bail if I feel we absolutely need to. Damn, damn fucking straight. I'm not losing these guys. I don't care if we make absolutely no progress. I don't care if we wasted all the money for supplies. It, it is not worth losing the team over. A victory. I will do what I have to do. Ah, well, the meat is not fully cooked. Damnation. You have a tapeworm. Which is actually like one of those debuffs that is actually shitty. Because now he's going to eat like way more food whenever he's hungry. Yeah, he's going to eat twice... Uh, twice as much food. <coughs> I would really love to get scouting. Like, did they remove scouting? No? Alright. Because, I mean, we really need to find out where the boss is so I'm able to camp right before it so we can get ma maximize our buffs. Yeah, there he is. Awesome. This is perfect and there's no fight between here and there. As long as we're not ambushed during the middle of the night, we should be fine. Only two people even have stress. This should be really good. And you can do the snuff box. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Let's get the dodge up for the party. Let's get the damage up for the party. Let's get his stress reduced. Uh, this is where we get ambushed in the middle of the night. Get knocked completely out of position and need to evacuate. Fuck be a small group uh i mean that's not uh see look at this look at this fucking ass i have to deal with the only saving grace is that she will also get to do something this turn he needs to move forward ah uh, well they'll all get to do something so i can appreciate that miss Oh, you whore. So I was going to go with the stun, but now I actually have to heal this guy. The problem is, Oprah is really not upgraded at all. After this fight, I'm definitely going to have to uh, spend a bit of time just, like, upgrading her. Because she definitely needs it. Because, I mean, she still has level 1 equipment, and I, I doubt her skills are upgraded high enough. To be where I need them to be. For her to be one of our main healers in the higher level missions. Ah, oh, that was a good kill though. Alright. We can still do this, but it's going to be really annoying. Alrighty, let's boss fight it up. See, this is the problem with the bosses. I always have, like, a really good idea of where they are, so I never just explore. So I end up never making, like, anywhere near as much of a profit as I'd like to. Uh, so we need to kill Wilbur fast. Ah, that is, that is not good, as she is the one who could hit Wilbur the best. Uh, can we actually pull Wilbur up? I would love that. Miss. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, we need to get out of here. Wilbur's going to end up killing us here soon. You don't you dare. Don't you dare. Did you just restun two of them? Oh, he did it because he was pulled forward. However, he didn't mark anyone, which is good. It might give us another turn to heal. God damn. All right, so we need to save Wilbur for after the king being dead. So we're just going to burn the king down. And, well, these two are going to burn the king down. And get healed as much as possible. Oh, that is such a big heal. Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Look at that. That is that is one ugly motherfucker. Ah, uh, let's heal the party. Because we don't want to just let everyone get low. You would better not get stunned. Ah, oh, my fuck, are you serious? And the king has so much health. He has like 200 health. Alright, so he's going to be focusing Curic, uh, which means that's not awful. We're going to do this to give Curic that 40% prop buff. And we're going to heal him specifically here because he's about to get hit. Alright, that was good. That was good. Because we actually like made sure... <sighs> that's alright. He's probably the worst, the best person to get stunned because he can defend while stunned. It doesn't matter. I I, I really think that that should not deal damage. I, if this fight were to be balanced out a little bit, I think that should definitely not deal damage. Are you serious? All right, we're gonna need to heal the party. Just to get people off of Death's Door. Don't you dare get stunned. Thank you. That's another crit for 20 damage. Oh my god. Morticia cannot die. I, oh, she dodged it. That's actually amazing. Uh, you know what? Let's get you prodded again. Let's give him 80% prod for this attack. Let's do the AoE heal. Let's do the bleed heal. He's going to have 80% prod for this hit. Yeah, that's awesome. He could take that. Miss. No stun. Oh. 12 damage. We got him down, though. He's at, like, half health. All right, so that's not good. Uh, we should definitely get your prod up again. And and we heal because we need to keep these two up. Yeah, two damage. Uh, don't you dare. That's all right. Again, if anyone's going to get stunned, it should be him. We have a 25% crit. We really should crit more. Uh, she has an okay dodge. She has enough health, though, that I, I don't think the king's going to be able to one-hit her. I would love for her to be able to actually get, like, a swing out, though. Nah, uh, you miss. Oh, don't you dare stun. Alright, see, that sucks because he's he's the good one. He's the one who deals the damage. You still have 80%. So, you know what? You heal on uh, Jesus. Maybe I should have debuffed. 
Oh, you know what? Let's retribute that so we can hit her again. We'll be able to hit the king again as soon as he hits us. I really need some of these AoE heals to start critting. Because Wilbur, Wilbur might get lucky here and accidentally kill something. That, okay, that doesn't trigger an attack from the big guy. That is very important because I my whole life just flashed before their eyes. <laughs> Alright, so see, this is where it's starting to get like really, really dangerous. Uh, you don't have any prod, so we actually need to prod. Just so he can take reduced damage from this hit. Oh, yes! Morticia dodged it! Miss Adams! Ah, c'est magnifique! That's right. It's French. Ah, oh, 37. He's so close. We might have this. Like, that heal was really bad, though. Oh, but every every round where we manage to get through the round without someone dipping down to death's door. Oh, that is such a good hit. 25% crit is so good. Uh oh. Oh, shit. That's all right. He can take the blow for her. Oh, that was an awful heal, Gomez. You know what? She should heal herself. Because I, I, I don't know if the guard's going to work. Alright, it did. Uh, dodge? Yes! Oh, that is, that is like what we needed to have happen. Dodge? No, it went on him because he defended right. Kill steal? Yeah, <laughs> we did it. Only one person did down the dress door, and they weren't even stressed about it. And then he just crits for two times that guy's health. <laughs> Fuck you, Wilbur! You stupid fucking swine. Ah, uh, I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's bleed, disease, and blight resist. Awesome. I don't care. They all leveled up to level 4. Any one of them who wasn't level 4 is level 4 now, so that's sick. Uh, we're definitely gonna go up, upgrade Oprah. She deserves it. We, done for months, years. Uh, we need to, we need to deal with the necromancer though. Which means we need, we need some more AoE. Alright, so let's go to the blacksmith, and let's put Oprah in there. Let's uh, get her out up, let's get her this up. Then we'll take her to the guild hall. Gonna get these up. There we go. Oprah, Oprah is now a healing force to be reckoned with. Uh, Kyrick, uh, honestly probably doesn't need this, but I'm gonna give it to him anyways. Alright, guys, well that was super fast. We took out the Swine Prince, it was super good. I wanna thank you all for coming by. Please, thumbs up the video, leave a comment below, it's greatly appreciated. Have yourself a great day.